Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a reverse turning kick, which in Korean is called Bandai Tolyo Chagi. Reverse turning kick is used to attack an opponent to your side rear. You can use the front leg or rear leg, but most often it's done with a rear leg with a 180 degree spin which in this case means your opponent would be to your side front before you spin. So the spinning is optional, but obviously when you do spin, you're going to get more power in the kick. The attacking tool used is the back heel, but occasionally you can use the ball of the foot, especially in competition sparring. The main targets for this kick are the temple, the philtrum, solar plexus, the chest, the ribs, and the abdomen. And the kick can be done as a low, middle, or high kick. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the reverse turning kick using the rear leg with 180 degree spin using the back heel. So the first thing, you need to know the correct positioning so that you can maximize the power of the kick. So when you finish the kick, your opponent is to your side rear. There. Which means before you pivot, it's gonna to be to your side front, so once you've done the 180 degree turn, you're in the same position with your side rear, you can attack. Okay, so a common mistake is to do the kick when, the, when you're facing the opponent, they're right in front of you. Which means if I do a 180 degree turn, my maximum power is over there and I need to extend further to get there. So a way around this is to step across to step in, so now I'm facing that way. See, you do a little step, and now I'm in the right position to kick it, like that. Or you can wait for the opponent to be on your side front and then initiate the kick from there, okay? Now, if you are new to doing reverse turning kick, I suggest you practice it in two stages. One, for the pivot, and the second part, to extend the leg across. When you're doing the pivot, say you're in an L stance, you bring your weight forward, and you pivot on the ball of the foot and you get into a balanced position. So I'm facing this way, I do the pivot. You can pause to check that you're balanced. Then you need to tilt forward a little bit, look behind, because the kick's slightly behind you and then swing across from the hip. Now to get this hip action, it's worth doing this exercise where you lean against the wall or find an object to lean against. I'm just gonna use Bob in this case. Just lean against the wall and you extend, flex and extend the leg. Now it's very important that you isolate the motion on your hip joint. Try not to move the pelvis or to swing your body. Just isolate, isolate the movement on your hip. So it's just the leg that's moving. The rest of your body is quite still and don't overextend. Okay, once you get used to this motion, then you can blend the two movements together. You do the pivoting, and as soon as you finish the pivoting, you initiate the hip extension. Okay, so, to help the spin, you can use your arms, bring them in slightly, and the spin is gonna help add power to your kick, because it adds angular momentum, so your kick will have more momentum. Okay, so you pivot, swing, across like that. Now, the target you hit depends on the orientation of the opponent. If they're more side-on, half-facing, side-facing, you can attack the front of the body, so the abdomen, solar plexus, chest, or philtrum. And if they're more square on to you, then the ribs or the temple will be a better target. Ideally, you want to hit with the heel going perpendicular to the target. So if they're more side on, half facing, then the heel is gonna be perpendicular to the front of the body. If they're more square and I try to hit the front of the body, I will be skimming across. So I won't get very good contact, yeah? Because you're hitting at an angle rather than perpendicular, okay? So make sure you go for a sensible target, okay? So I'm gonna have the opponent slightly half facing to me so I can aim to the front, okay? So practice this as a low kick at first. If you're not very flexible, 
best to start low and then as you develop flexibility you can try higher targets go for middle and high targets so practice this as a drill Once you get used to practicing this technique on its own, you can add movement, for example, stepping forward before doing the reverse turning kick or adding a kick beforehand. Turning kick, reverse turning kick is a very good combination. Now, I know some martial arts call this kick a spinning hook kick, but in ITF Taekwondo, we call it a reverse turning kick. We do have another kick called a reverse hooking kick, which is a variation of the reverse turning kick, and the application is slightly different, so I'll show you that in another video. But when doing a reverse turning kick, make sure your leg is straight if you're using the back heel. And if you're using the ball of the foot, then you can bend the knee very slightly on impact. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.